welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Weeble platform desktop version for day trading stocks and crypto. So if you've never used Weeble before and you're interested in using it, there will be a link in the description below. And that is an affiliate link where if you sign up with that link, you will get some free stocks and I will get some free stocks as well. So no pressure to do that. But if you want to sign up with Weeble, that's going to be your best opportunity to do it. So without any more plugging along, let's go ahead and dive into how to set this up. And you can see you'll probably start off with a blank, but you may not. It depends but to get to the blank, you can see there's a normal there and you just click over to hit stock and you got a blank here and it'll say click to add widgets. And this is a very easy setup compared to Thinkorswim. Thinkorswim is a little bit more complicated and if you've been following me for a while, I'm not switching from day trading stocks on Thinkorswim to Weeble. I'm only setting up Weeble for day trading Bitcoin and crypto coming up here in the near future. So this is only for that, but you can use the same setup like you would in Thinkorswim. So you can see right here on the right upper hand corner, there's general and stock, and you can add orders, positions, watch list, account details if you want, but we're gonna go to stock. And the first thing we're gonna do is add a chart. So then you get a little pop up there, a little chart. You see, we've got Apple. We're gonna make this a five minute chart. So you got 1M, 2M, 3M, 5M. The M stands for minute. So, and the number stands for the amount of minutes. So that's five minutes there. All right. And then we're going to go to set as group and we're going to set as group as one. And the set as group is right here between the X to close it. It's just a little dash. And when you hover over it, you can see it'll say set as group. And then you have all the setups right there of different numbers and colors to match your charts up. I'm going to match everything to one just like I would match everything on Thinkorswim. So we'll leave it at MBY. That's fine. And we got a five minute chart. So we're going to bring it out here a little bit. And you can see line style. I like mine on full candles there. So we're going to go down to the third one and make sure it's on candle. And then you can draw, you have your different types of drawings here if you want to draw your downtrends or whatever. But right here you can see, you start your drawing, stretch it across there, got a downtrend. And that's how you do your drawings on your charts like you would on Thinkorswim. And then it's easy just to get rid of it like that right there. So then we're going to go to indicators. And once you get in the indicators, you can either go to all indicators and go all the way down and look through these or you can go to edit indicators and I'm going to go to edit. And I don't know what alligator is. Never heard of that trading term, but we're going to EMA. So we're going to click that right there so we get the EMA on there and then it's going to tell you uh, the links. And right there we have the EMA 5 on this one. We don't want the 5 day. We're going to put on this chart, I always use the 9 or the 13. So we'll go with the 10. You can change this if you want to. So we'll go to where it says 10 and we'll increase that to 13. So then when we flip back over, you can see it's the EMA 13 now. So we've got the 13. If you want the 13, but I'm going to put it back on 9 because that's what I use. And there you can see it is on the EMA 9. And it's got that little beige color. I like my EMA to be green, just like Think or Swim. So I'm going to leave it there, green. All right, and then done. That's it for our five minute chart. All right, so once you got this chart set up, we're going to add another chart. And we are going to set group, the little dash right there beside the X, as a one with the orange square. You can see it, line, it lined both charts up, same thing, same stock. Expand this, make it about the same size. And then this one's going to be our one minute. So you can see there, and the way you can scroll in and out of this is either by the plus or minus or with your mouse wheel if you have a mouse wheel. But there we can see the one minute chart of what's going on now. And I don't use any indicators there, so we're just going to leave that the way it is. And then we are going to add another chart, and this is going to be your daily chart. And we'll set it to a one. 
and you see it changed it to MBY and we're going to put this on D for day that is the daily chart I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it so there we go so now we can see the whole entire year here and actually a little bit from the past year as well and we're going to add indicators to this so edit indicators go down to EMA we are going to do the 9 the 50 the 100 and the 200 and then you can see it switched it over here for us. So we're going to take the EMA 5 off and put the EMA 9. And we're going to turn it green. Let's make it a little darker green. Okay. And then if you want, you can also change your line style to different things. but Or the line size right here. You can make it a little thicker. It's a little hard to see. So I'm going to make it a little thicker on there so we can see it. And then we're going to add the 50 day. We're going to make that a dark blue like that and then let's well, that line yeah that's good we'll make it a little thicker and then the 100 day we'll add as yellow and then the 200 day we're going to add as red now if you're just starting out and you don't know what these moving averages are go check the day trading playlist and you can learn about these indicators and what I use them for, but I basically use them for support and resistance. And you can see there we have all four indicators on the daily chart there. So we've got our charts all set up. What else would, do we need to add? We need to add news. Get your news right there. I'm going to set that to one, one orange square bar. Okay, so for some reason you can't shrink the news much more than that as far as the width goes but we're going to put it over here we'll adjust everything a little bit to this so that is adjusted there and then got our news and we got it linked up so you can see mby mby across all the charts and the news then i like to have my watch list over here so we're going to add the watch list there and then also you want to set your watch list to group so when you click on these different stocks it'll change everything for you. So you can see there as I click on these different stocks in the watch list they pop up the whole chart settings and all that so we have all that connected. Alright so we've got all this set up we still need our orders so we're going to go to widget settings. Widget settings is all the way in the top right hand corner below the X and we're going to go to time and sales and then we're going to set to group so it matches all that I usually have my time and sales up here or on the other side I'm actually going to shrink this one minute a little bit put our time and sales right there okay so this is pretty much the setup here it's set up very similar to my thinkorswim setup the only difference is you only have the time and sales which gives you a level one look but it doesn't have level two so here's the thing if you want level two you will have to pay for it with Weeble and that's why I use thinkorswim for day trading stocks but because I'm mainly going to be using this to day trade crypto I'm only going to be trading little scalps of chart patterns so I don't really need level two eventually I would say Weeble will probably make level two free but until then, I'm not going to use it. And like I said, I recommend if you're going to day trade stocks, use Thinkorswim. But if you do want to use Weeble because you like Weeble better than Thinkorswim because it is a little easier to set up, go right ahead and use it. But I do recommend if you are going to use Weeble over Thinkorswim that you do get the level 2 if you are trading stocks because level 2 is very important. If you're just swing trading or long term holding, you really don't need level 2 at all, so Weeble is perfectly fine for that. But now you are all set up if you are deciding to use Weeble and you are ready to start trading.